Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For the friends, who are not native speakers, you can turn on subtitles. Today, with environmental problems and energy crisis getting increasingly serious, electric vehicle has become a hot topic, because of its features of low noise, zero emissions and significant advantages in energy efficient. As supporting charging equipment for electric vehicles, the research for onboard charger has important significance. Moreover, as a kind of environmentally friendly transportation, the onboard charger for electric vehicles should be environmentally friendly too. Especially when a large number of energy storage batteries, connected to the grid as capacitive load, it will inevitably reduce the power factor of power grid, causing harmonic pollution and low efficiency. So, with the increasingly widespread use of electric vehicles in the future, the development of power factor correction system for onboard charger is very important. Electric vehicles are cars with a storage system that can be recharged by connecting a plug to an external electric power source through an AC or DC charging system. The AC charging system is commonly an onboard charger mounted inside the vehicle and is connected to the grid. The DC charging system is commonly an offboard charger mounted at fixed locations, supplying required regulated DC power, directly to the batteries inside the vehicle. The charging AC outlet, inevitably needs an onboard AC-DC charger with a power factor correction, PFC. PFC technology, add a power converter with a power factor correction function, between rectifier circuit and output capacitance, in order to ensure the stability of output voltage and control the input current harmonic and phase difference between input current and voltage. PFC refers to improvement of the power factor to bring it closer to 1. This entails bringing the power factor angle closer to 0 degrees to reduce the phase difference between voltage and current so that the apparent power is made to approach the effective power. At the same time, harmonic currents are suppressed. Suppression of harmonics is prescribed by class in the International Standard IC 61032, which stipulates the maximum allowable harmonic currents, and PFC is essentially required for relevant electronic devices. The conventional boost topology is the most popular topology for PFC applications. It uses a dedicated diode bridge to rectify the AC input voltage to DC, which is then followed by the boost stage. Many PFCs based on the boost topology, have been proposed in the literature. Various control strategies have also been implemented. These are the most popular control techniques, in order to highlight advantages and drawbacks of each solution. The control loop is constituted by the PFC inductor L, the power switching MOSFET, the output rectifier VD, the input capacitor CI, the output filter capacitor CO, PWM controller, DC sampling circuit, and AC sampling circuit. The PWM controller can simultaneously receive the signals from the two paths transmitted by DC sampling circuit and AC sampling circuit. Its output is PWM signal with fixed turn on time and variable frequency, and the adjustment range of output duty ratio can be up to 0 to 100%. Under the control of PWM signal, the converter forms two independent current loops when V is turned on. The first current loop is that UIT returns through L and V and stores electric energy in L, with voltage polarity being positive at left and negative at right making VD turned off. The second current loop is that CO discharges to the backstage load to maintain the output voltage U unchanged. During the turn on of MOSFET, inductive current increases linearly from zero to the peak value. When V is turned off, the reverse potential generated in L is negative at left and positive at right, 
which is overlapped with UID, to realize the purpose of boosting voltage, thus making VD turned on. The electric energy stored in L, after passing through VD, provides power to the load, through one path and charges CO through the other path. During the turn off of MOSFET, the current in L reduces from peak value to zero. In recent years, a large number of PFC integrated circuits have been launched on the market with a large number, whose control functions and technical indicators are also being continuously improved. Every company that offers such ICs also offers Excel sheet or software tools to dimension all related components. This application describes the theory of operation and step by step process to design a high performance power factor corrected power supply using the fan 4810 controller IC. I will now quickly show the equations needed to design this PFC with this IC. We will not get lost in detail in this video. If there is interest, then we can go deeper into such topics in the future. So show me your interest in that you like the video and subscribe me. This concludes the calculation and selection of power and control components for PFC applications based on the FAN 4810 IC. Most ICs providers also offer tools to calculate the whole thing.
This was an introduction to a PFC circuit, and how to design anything in the industrial environment. Thank you for watching.